Hello friends, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can run our first program in Python. So the current version is 3.8.2. At first, we will download and install Python. While installing, we will see how to set the Python path. After that, we will run our first program. So let's begin with it. Python came with the version 3.8.2 on February 24, 2020. So here we will see how to easily install it. Firstly, go to python.org. Here we have reached the home page. Now we will click on latest download Python 3.8.2. Why I'm doing this? Just to show you that from where you can get the Python versions for different operating systems. Now here you can see for Mac and Windows, the installation is visible. Perhaps the download files are visible, installer or web-based installer. So right now we are on Windows 10 64-bit operating system and we want an installer an exe file executable so just click on this which is x86 64 64 means 64 bit os so i'll click on it now the download should begin this x86 only x86 is for 32 bit os nowadays we only have 64 bit os the new technology is for 64 bit os so we are installing this we will just wait for the installer to download Now you can see the download has been completed. So now we'll go to show in folder. Now you can see the file is visible. We will double click on it. So through this we will install 3.8.21 Windows 10 operating system. So the installer is visible. Here we can install it in the default path. But to avoid any kind of problem or for simplicity, we'll go for customized installation. But before that, we will also set the Python 3.82 path. If you know Java, you have installed Java, you need, you can see we need to manually do it use, under the environment variables. So this is quite easier than installing Java. So I'll set add Python 3.82 path and we'll click on customer installation to give it a new path. Click on it. On clicking, you can see the options are visible. I'll just go to next. The package mostly used for Python is pip, so it will automatically install it as well. I'll, now I'll click on, now I've clicked on next. Here you can see the custom install location is visible, which I don't want. I'll be going to my own location. So I'll click on browse. On clicking browse, I have gone to C drive now under program files. I'll be going to the program files folder and press OK. Under that, I'll set a folder. Let's set it. C drive, program files. I'll set continue as I'm the admin. So I'll, I'll create a folder, Python, double click on it. Now in that, I'll be setting. So I'll set browse again. Python and click on OK. Now the path is visible. Now you can check all other files. It will install for all users. In this system, I am, on, I am the only user, which is the admin, Amit. And rest keep as it is and I'll click on install. Now the installation begins. Till then, I'll let the steps here. Python.org, download x86 64 that is 64 bit for windows 64 bit os which is right now for windows 10 after downloading installation begins by double clicking on the exe file while installation set path by just checking a checkbox and set custom path also according to your choice. We have set the path as here you can see the installation has been finished. So I'll just paste it here the path. Now let's see what has happened here. So the installation is going on. Here you can see the pip is also installing which is the package for Python, a well-known package. 
now the installation setup is successful we'll click on close now go to start and type python let's see what has come for us this is the app we have installed the manuals the exe file and the module dogs with that we can also see the id so let's just go to command prompt and see that can we easily work with python or not because we have set the path by default while installing in the first step if you remember we have set the path as well so here you can see we set the path by just ticking by just checking the checkbox now i'll go to cmd right click run as administrator yes now i'll just type path python as you can see python 3.8.2 successfully installed because we by default set the path in java we need to manually set the path but in this we just check the checkbox and the path was set in the environment variables now i'll write, try to print something so here i'll type the channel name and let's see what happens press enter now you can see amit thinks is visible you can type quit here and the parenthesis to quit okay so that's fine now we can we will work around the id go to start type python and the id le is visible click on it now you can see the id is visible you can also run it here so i'll do the same thing printing print amit thinks is right let's write some demo text amit thinks my channel now i'll press enter let's see what happens here you can see the text is visible so now we will see how we can run another program that is first we printed a basic example in python ideally in which we just printed a line here is ideally so now we just here thus we printed the following like demo and that's it now let's print code wherein we have three variables go to file we have saved the file module under e drive since we have set the path we can keep the program anywhere under e drive amit code.py i'll click open and let's learn about it here you can see we have three variables student i and average student is having string representation string value i is having integer and average is having floating point value after that we used print and printed all of them now it's very easy because it's an id really it's an id so go to run and run module that's it and it will show you the output now here you can see e amit code dot py this was our file which is in the e drive and it printed the values the three values because we have printed all the three values the first one is a string second in integer and third is a floating point value so in this video we saw how we can run our first program in python we also saw how we can download and install python 3.8.2 which is the current version then we saw how we can run a basic program in python ideally initially for the first program we just printed a line and for the second program we just printed three variables and their values thank you for watching the video hope you liked it for more such videos and videos on programming kindly subscribe to amit things youtube channel